All right, welcome to the seventh episode of the Kentucky Elk Hunting Webinar Series. So this is going to be a short one today. So what we've got coming up here real quick is the July 1 area draw deadline. So that's the secondary draw for elk hunting units in regulated areas. So anybody that wants to put in for those spots, we're going to just kind of do an updater on that today. Just a short, um, just a short little segment to remind people about that. If you've really got questions about the ins and outs of it, obviously watch episode one, but then in episode three, Joe goes into some really good detail on the area draw. So with that, I'm going to stop sharing the title screen. Let's see here and get back to my other page. Um, so like I said, we're really coming down. I mean, I think everybody can agree the summer's flying along. Um, it is towards the end of June already. And that in July 1, July 1 deadline is coming up. Um, so again, check out episode three for that. Um, Joe, I'll let you, whenever you're ready, just share your screen and uh, give them a quick, give them a quick run through on that. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get started. Like I said, it'll be a short one today and I will uh, try my best to make it a little, a little more entertaining than the last one. Um, so right here, I've already just jumped to the, uh, elk quota hunt page, the elk hunter page on my profile. Um, again, it has all the regular stuff that you know about, but what we'll focus on today is the hunting units and regulated areas specifically. Um, we've had a lot of questions, uh, people wanting us to confirm their choices to, to look on their my profile form and make sure that they've made selections. Uh, so we're going to walk through all this one more time because the deadline is coming. Uh, so right here, this blue select hunting unit and regulated area preferences. This is how you actually go in and make your selections. Um, I'm going to run through a couple of them today just to show you what it looks like again so you can see. Um, let's pick some random ones here. All right, you hit submit. That's all you have to do to confirm your own selections. All you have to do is look right here. You have selected elk hunting preferences in the following order and it'll list them all out for you. So if you all are still nervous about it or you're afraid that you know, it didn't get done, if you see your selections right here on your my profile, that's all you have to do. There's nothing else you need to do. Um, you know, the deadline is on July 1st. So if you maybe talk to somebody, get some fresh intel, and you decide you don't like these selections, all you have to do is hit the clear preferences button, this red button, and there will be this pop up that will make sure that you're fine with clearing your selection. So you can't just do it by mistake. Um, we don't want somebody to not be able to make any selections or, you know, hit a wrong button. So there it is. Fresh list. Uh, if I decide I want to go back through, like I said, I can just go and select them again. Um, the only other thing to mention on this selecting hunt unit and regulated area preferences, you cannot pick anything more than once. Uh, so if I pick unit two only for my first choice, you will see that that is no longer an option for my second. Uh, so you, you know, we can't waste your selections that way. And the last thing I guess I'll cover on the, the selections and the regulated areas. Remember you have to go through and, and make the selections, um, just make sure that there's a spot for your permit type, right? So this is the example here. We use the MetaTract over in uh, Pike County. If I have an archery tag and I make that one of my selections, I'm essentially wasting it. So make sure that your, the properties that you're applying for actually have a spot for you because the computer system can't put you into a place if there's no spot. And to, to look at that again, um, there's the example. We'll go back to the regulator list and just pick a random, we'll, we'll use meta again. Um, you know, when you view the individual area, this is where you go to see that, the available hunter spots per tag type right here. So make sure that there is a spot for you if you're going to apply for that area. We just don't want you guys to waste a selection. Um, I guess the, what do you want to talk about next? The hunt party? Yep, yep. Um, if you go through and select the hunting units or your, your 
RE preferences, if all you see is units only, we've had a couple calls about that. That means that you're more than likely going to be in a hunting party. And it's as easy as pushing that button. You are now in a party. Um, so if I go back through to my preferences, look right here, it says hunt party member, which means you can only apply for the units because of the way that the drawing is set up and the, the max number of spots per area. Uh, so again, if you look at your selections and all you see are these units only, you're in a hunt party. If you didn't do that on purpose, all you have to do is come back here and remove yourself from the hunting party by clicking that button. And then you automatically can go back and have access to everything again. So just want to clear that up for the, the folks that have been confused and had some issues. Um, yeah, I, I agree. And like Joe said, we've gotten a number of questions and, and this happens every year as we get closer to the draw deadline. People want us to confirm their choices. Um, so we don't actually have access to some kind of background data where we can see everybody's choices until the draw actually comes out. Yeah. Um, so the best way, the best and only way to confirm is to go through my profile and you'll see your choices listed there above the blue button in that section. And if you've got choices listed there and they're like you want them, guarantee you, you're good to go. Yep. Uh, I will, I will say one more thing um, for, I don't know how many of these people will actually be watching it, but if, if you have trouble, uh, if you're not very internet savvy um, or, or you don't have access to a computer or something, you, if you're just having issues at all, give John or I a call and we can help you make your selections. I usually do this for a couple people every year, usually some of our older hunters. Um, but if that's something that, that, worries you or you, you're nervous on doing it yourself just give us a shout we can log into your my profile for you and help you uh if yep. that's if that's something you're having issues with yeah that's no trouble at all like joe said there's a few people every year that that we do that for so don't don't let that be a hurdle just give us a call and we'll we'll get you in uh get your get your selections made for you um let's see i mean well you know let's talk about um a few things so we've got a number of people every year that don't put any in any selections and that's okay too um, if you don't put in anything you'll be assigned to a random hunting unit so you won't get an ra in this particular draw you'll get a random hunting unit and we've we have about 60 of our hunters every year that are that are in that in that situation and we can't necessarily tell whether they've not not looked at any of this not not gone through the process or if that's what they're choosing to do um, so either way, it's something to think about. Hopefully you've done some, done some homework and have a good idea of where you'd like to ideally hunt and made your selections accordingly. And honestly, we, we hope everybody gets that number one draw spot on this, but <laughs> you know, there's 594 of you that'll get, uh, that'll all get a random number and, and list your spots. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is there's sort of a, Everybody kind of catches their breath at this point, you know, after, you know, between July 1 and July 15, we're kind of waiting for the results to come out. It's an opportunity for everybody to catch their breath a little bit. And once those results come out, I really feel like uh, some people's frustrations uh, goes away a little bit. They know exactly where they're hunting. Without a doubt. <laughs> they, yeah, they can start really dialing into that unit. Um, you know, when you talk to Joe or I or, or our other folks out in the region, when you say, hey, I've got unit four, um, let me let me get dialed in in that. We're able to help you a lot better at that point where we're not looking at all 4.1 million acres. We're looking at a single elk zone. So honestly, about this time of the year, I look forward to the draw happening uh, and we can really dial in, dial in things with our hunters. So either way, you know, Joe and I wish everybody good luck and and how the numbers fall with this with this draw. And hopefully everybody gets uh, gets the unit they want to hunt in. Um, if you don't, We'll have an episode here coming out, uh, coming out very early August about the secondary draw where you can sign up for open regulated areas. So we'll cover that thoroughly uh, in the next week or two. And, uh, you know, that's another avenue. If you do end up with something that you that you didn't apply for, uh, that's another avenue to get in somewhere. But other than that, keep uh, keep sending us questions. I, I, for one, I've gotten some fantastic questions this week. I think people are really getting things 
getting things honed in. I enjoy, uh, you know, responding to the, to the, to the folks that are asking the good questions without a doubt. We'll put lots of time in to get you some good answers to those questions. Um, phone calls have slacked off a little bit. We got a little bit behind. We're doing some habitat work among other things up here in the office. And I, I of course deal with bears as well. So that fires up a little bit in the summer, but, uh, we're getting the calls passed around and getting, getting through them. But, uh, Joe, you got anything else we want to talk about? No, I think we're all caught up. Um, the only thing I might mention, if, if you want to, um, I think it would be a good opportunity to talk about the, the new youth permit stuff that we recently discovered, because uh, yeah. I have had a couple questions about that since. Um, if you want to run through that. Yeah, for sure. We always uh, get questions every year whether a youth under 12 – uh, needs to buy the youth permit. And so we ran this up through legal and, and uh, our bosses, and we all agreed that youth under 12 do not need to buy that permit. Um, and there's a place in, you know, as we mentioned before, if you, you've you got to buy your permit before getting the hang tag. So yep. Joe's showing you right where you can print the hang tag. You won't actually see that until you buy your permit. Uh, with the youth hunters, we built in a system where they're going to see that you know, that's under 12, they're going to see that without needing to actually buy that permit. So uh, and while we're, while we're on the subject of youth, uh, hunting, because it is confusing. Um, if say a youth hunter drew something like a, like a cow firearm tag or an archery tag, they have to buy that permit, the cow firearm or the either sex archery permit, they're not eligible to buy the youth only permit. That is only for hunters that were drawn for the youth permit. Yeah, uh, that'll, that be, the, that'll be the either sex youth permit. Yeah. 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 Yep, exactly. And that is, that tends to be a little bit confusing and we can certainly straighten that out for if you call. I know early on in the summer, I talked to a person or two and, and uh, told them we'd get back with an answer on that. So I followed up with those folks, but uh, for anybody out there, else out there with questions, uh, feel free to call us or call our info center and we'll get you, we'll get you straightened out on that. Yeah. Besides that, I think we're all good. Um, I think like you said, I'm, I'm pretty well caught up. I've got a couple more phone calls to make. Uh, and I think we'll be ready to rock. And, um, the, I guess we can mention the, 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 uh, mapping webinar that we planned to do mm -hmm. should have been aired when this one airs. Uh, we're going to bump that back a week. It's actually good news for you guys. We've uh, got some new developments coming for us that's going to make uh, what we have to offer you all in terms of mapping a lot better a lot more effective for you all um never heard yeah, more options and we've got one of our uh one of our main mapping guys here that works for us it's going to be joining us too so we'll have we'll have an expert <laughs> instead of just instead of just joe and i talking about it we'll have a dude that does it does it full time so like that'll be good and that'll be coming uh that'll be coming down the pipe next week Yep. That's it. That's all I got. Uh, if you guys have any questions, like we said, reach out to us. Um, or if you have difficulties, you know, navigating through this system, reach out to us. Uh, we'll be happy to help you best we can. Yep. Absolutely. And big thing. I mean, we're just coming down to the wire. So July one at midnight Eastern time is when the system will shut down and all, you know, all your RA and, and elk hunting unit choices will be final. Uh, you can, you can change them around right up to, 1159 if you want to i wouldn't suggest it but <laughs> you know it shuts down at midnight and then sometime uh sometime on or before uh, july 15th those results will be up they post in my profile yeah. so you'll go on there and right at the top you'll see what what unit you what unit or regulated area you got selected for so um and then we'll get down to business and elk hunting will be elk season will be right around the corner um i'm gonna share our contact info real quick just briefly as we close out. So again, that's me and Joe. That's our office office phone and email. Feel free to shout at us. Again, we've been getting great questions, which tells us that folks out there are doing their homework and getting serious about it. So that's uh, that's certainly what we want to see. All right, that was a good short one. No, no hour and a half like we had last week. Shout at us if you got questions. And with that, we'll uh, we'll see you with some talk about mapping stuff next week. Yep. Thanks.